this other Eden, this sceptered isle, this precious stone set in the silver sea, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this, this England? This is a little travelling item here for those who want a discreet small cane. Mr. Hussey, Mr. Spencer, we're going to bend you over and flash you both severely. One of Britain's greatest gifts to the world has been the fine art of caning. This one is much more your big, whoppy brute. And that would be quite painful, that one. Since the caning of Michael Fay in Singapore, the American public seems to think that caning began in the third world. <laughs> Not so. I went to Britain, the birthplace of caning, to find out why the Brits are so in love with spanking each other's bottoms. Hard or soft? That is a bull's pistol. Very painful indeed. I... Di Llewellyn is the owner of the Bodner Cane Company, one of the largest manufacturers of punishment canes. Since the uh, caning of this American youth in Singapore, opinion polls have showed an overwhelming support for the use of caning as punishment. Why do you think that is? I think they're probably realizing something that we realized a long time ago. We built an empire on it after all. The British Empire was the largest empire that was ever built in the history of mankind. And most of it was achieved with these fine whoppy canes, right? They say it was on the plain fields of Eton, but it was also in various dreaded rooms where boys would be bent over and have their bottoms given six of the best. It taught them not to be naughty, toughened them up, and made them good frontiersmen. What was the empire? The British Empire was one third of the world's surface. And now what? Now what? Well, basically, we've got Gibraltar sitting in there very nicely. Mm -hmm. There's the Falkland Islands. Okay, so we've got essentially two islands and a rock. Yes, right? that sort of thing. And then this island that we're sitting on now. Yep. And that's, that's about it. That's about it. And it's all because we gave up caning in schools mm -hmm. and started having base-blooded politicians who were, who were brought up without being savagely thrashed. Although caning was officially banned in state schools in 1987, a few private schools still use the cane. Rodney School in Nottinghamshire is one of the schools that still upholds the tradition. Headmistress for the last 50 years, Joan Thomas's disciplinary practices have been praised by military generals. She recently caned some 12-year-old girls for sneaking into the boys' dormitory. The next day they came and um, said, we brought you these, Miss Thomas. There was some, one of them had brought a plant or some small gift and, and some chocolates. And I said, but I caned you yesterday or the day before. Oh, this is yes, but we know we deserved it, and we're very sorry. We shouldn't have done it. Now, what kind of, what kind of pupil do you think I would have made here? You? Yeah, me. I think I could have coped with you, really. You think so? <laughs> I think huh? so. Actually, that would, this would be a good place for me. <laughs> <laughs> Member of Parliament Harry Greenway is a former schoolmaster and a skillful caner. Oh, that hurt. No, that hurt. He has been campaigning for corporal punishment to be resorted in state schools. The end there. Harder still. That really hurt. If you knew you were going to be caned, I mean, I was caned uh, often enough as a, as a boy, um, and in anticipation of it, you had to be rather courageous. You certainly wouldn't have wimped around like my, as Michael Frayne or his parents did, you know, and said, oh, please stop it, don't let me uh, have it. You know, you'd, you'd assume that it was justice and that you deserved it, you'd brace yourself to face it, and you wouldn't whinge afterwards. In fact, many British men seem to have a wistful longing for the good old days of being whacked with a stick. A club called School Dinners allows them to relive those carefree times, complete with school grub and sadistic school girls. We've got about 14 boys to cane. This is an awful lot, and it's going to take a long time to get through them. All right, gentlemen, what do you want this to be, hard or soft? It really makes you wonder, were the Brits always this weird, or is it just since they lost their empire? Because of the lack of discipline, yes. because a generation grew up not to understand how to uh, deal with adverse conditions, such yeah, as true. being caned in the buttocks. Yes. On the buttocks, not in the buttocks. I love the way, I love the way you pronounce buttocks. <laughs> buttocks. Um, well, how do you say it over here? Buttocks. Buttocks? I'll yeah. say it your way. Buttocks. Just for today. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> well, I'd try to um, uh, teach you something that uh, when you became 16 or 18 that you could go out into the world and earn your living. You mm -hmm. seem to be doing very well for yourself now, so I don't think there's any worry about that. Surprisingly, isn't so it? <laughs>
<laughs> so, it is quite amazing the sort of people who get good jobs, isn't it? I wonder what it is. Is it personality or? <laughs> I don't know. We brought a dummy. Oh, well, have you? I thought you set me up, have you? I didn't want well, you to cane me. Well, so. No. All right. Well, I think you. Yeah, no. I mean, he'd need to touch his toes. And, yeah, and, and bend him over, sort of. And and he wouldn't want a coat on. Or if he has a coat, that would have to be turned up. Mm-hmm. All sorts of things from that. But. All right. That hurt just hearing it. I gotta say though, why bother with this this cane business here? I mean, why not just give him a good punch in the nose? I mean, why not why not take a gun, shoot them in the foot, and and say, you know, that'll teach you. I mean, you, they'll they'll remember that for months to come, a lot longer than they'll remember being hit in the buttocks. Yes, I, I have cane. to say then that then you really don't understand what we mean by using the cane. You obviously, it is in your brain, it is, and probably in many other Americans' brains, it is synonymous with brutalization of any form, right? Well, it'd be it's shooting punishment. someone in the foot punishment. No, no, whacking someone in the jaw is like immediate retribution. You pinch my girlfriend, boom, right? It's the law of the jungle. Right. I do believe the cane is quite a sophisticated beast. It is more civilized because you can actually measure it. You can say, right, six strokes on the buttocks, gone, forgotten doesn't cost the taxpayer loads of money to go and keep the guy in jail year after year after year. Who were you so, thinking of when you... <laughs> I was thinking of a naughty boy. Uh -huh. And, you know, and, and, and don't do it again. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to tease a boy, you know, if he's, if, if he's going to be punished. Mm -hmm. You don't want him to be, have to be punished every few days. Right. You know, you, you want it to be one and all, mm -hmm. once for all. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that would have, he'd have felt that, wouldn't he? Say it again. Uh -huh. I love it. You love that, don't you? Yes, I'm going to say it for you. Okay. Buttocks. Buttocks. <laughs> okay, like I'll it. just say it again for you in English. <laughs> 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 say it again. <laughs> Buttocks. <laughs> and what, what do you think the main problem would have been? With you? Yes. I would teach you to walk properly. Uh, do I walk improperly? Yes, you do. You've got your feet at 10 to 2 instead of <laughs> straight forward. Now, what does 10 to 2 mean? Well, like this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> Look at this, I'm already walking straighter. Huh? <laughs> just, just this little walk with you. Naughty, 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 oh, naughty, so naughty, great. naughty boy. How do you say the word buttocks? Buttocks. 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 <laughs> buttocks. <laughs> buttocks. <laughs> buttocks. I got it. Okay, wait on this foot. Forward here. Right? Back like this, a flick in the wrist just there, right? To give you the speed, so then up, down, and you know, to target. So I'll try that once more with you. Right, here we go. Flick of the wrist, right? Okay, flick okay. of the wrist up, yeah, yes. Yeah. And up. Uh, well done. Bravo. No, not as good as yours. No, I think you could still make, you could right, still make a member of the British Empire yet. I have to say, we're going to have to get, oh, he's getting the taste for it, and also, Good thing it's safe as getting it summer, spring clean. Can I cane you? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, it's off the menu. Are you today. sure? Yes, sorry about that. Oh, now look, you've made anyway, him cry. Well, it's, it has hurt me more than it hurt you, but anyway, just don't do it again. I don't want to see you in this office of mine. If you do, you know what it would be, and you would not like it, would you? Okay, Mr. Headmaster. Okay. I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Right. Off Bye. you go. Bye. Bye. Good. Go on. I'm off to choir and then to cricket. Come on, let me cane you. Just no. I'll, I'll be sorry. No. I think I was getting the hang of it, and soon I would be back in America with my newfound cane. And now the official TV Nation poll: 229 Americans were surveyed by the professional polling firm of Widgreen Associates. 88 percent of Bush voters have no idea what rappers are talking about. 